All right, what's going on, everyone? We have another Devo knife, as you can tell. This is the Buzz in a Tux configuration. So this one, well, one, it costs more than the MASH 2.0. So maybe that's why. But this one comes with much better packaging and presentation and overall satisfaction in opening, if that makes sense. So it has, you know, a very similar cardboard box to the MASH. Uh, although one thing I did like on the MASH that is not present here is it had cutouts for your fingers. So you could just grab the, the under box and pull the top off. This one, you got to play the the shimmy shuffle game with, which I think I, that's a negative. I wish they had the cutouts, right? But you get a branded microfiber, you get a, uh, a patch, you get a sticker, you get this um, coaster with some details about the knife, and you get a zippered pouch unlike I've ever seen before. This is actually leather with the Devo knives embossed in it. Um, kind of a brass looking zipper. And then you get a silica gel and you get a bunch of extra hardware, right? A whole new steel lock bar insert, a brand new pivot, bearings, all the hardware, including an extra pocket clip. So I think that is pretty cool, okay? So yeah, this costs more. The mash was 135 and this guy here is 330. I, okay. This does have a different upgraded steel. This is 20 CV. But a similar similar kind of build, honestly. Um, but that's okay. I am not the price police. And I just kind of call it like I see it here. I'm looking at my notes really quick um, because I thought I had something else here. Uh, nope. All right. So, again, Lefty and Devo Knives can do whatever they want as far as pricing. But this is, again, I believe, also made by Kubi. I believe they're all made by Kubi. So... You're basically getting a different shaped Kubi knife. There's a lot of similarities to my Kubi branded uh, KB237. Now, I wish Kubi would have names. I get a little irritated or frustrated sometimes with companies that just come out with numbers as their models. I like names, but that's me. Okay. This feels very similar in action, construction, and whatnot as this $330 Devo Knives variation of a Kubi. Okay? This one's 50 bucks. It's G10 and D2. I get it. You're going to pay a little bit more for titanium and CPM 20 CV. Are you going to pay... $250 more ish. I, that's a, that's on you to tell me in the comments. Okay. <clears throat> so overall you got a, a, a decent titanium liner lock pocket knife. Okay. This one also did come with, I totally forgot to point this out. Um, and I don't know if Mike, Aussie Mike ordered this separate but it does have a Tymascus backspacer or a Zerku tie. I don't know. They had a couple different ones on their website. And quite frankly, Tymascus, Zerku tie, all that stuff is basically the same thing. It's like, like Kleenex is a brand name. Tymascus is a brand name. Kleenex is a universal name for tissues. Like a Xerox machine is a generic term for copy machine, same like Zerkatai. And a lot of these things are the same materials, but just proprietary to a certain company that makes it. So don't get hung up on a lot of that because there's a lot of different things out there. All right. So some specs is four and three eighths, seven and a half. It is a front flipper as well. 
3.25 inch blade with a 3.10 cutting edge, 0.014 behind the edge, CBM 20 CV, yada, 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 all these other specs that nobody really cares about, including myself sometimes. But it weighs in at 4.2 ounces and it uses a reversible wire clip, one of my least favorite clips. Uh, but I'll, I think I'm the minority in not liking a wire clip. Overall, this knife has done pretty well. Again, I'm impressed. Very nice belt satin finish on the blade. This particular one is the tuxedo version. So it's a black um, PVD coated scales. They do have a reverse tuxedo. They have all blacked out. Excuse me, there's a couple of different models. This particular one is sold out right now. But at Blade HQ, you can get the all blacked out version. Um, I didn't look if it has a black wire clip and black hardware. I didn't notice that. I didn't look that closely. Um, all in all, cool knife. I wish that it had a flipper tab. Um, I don't know that I love the front flipping action on this. It is solid. It does work. But it just, I don't know, just the the angle of where you put your thumb is a little awkward for me, more so than other front flippers that I have had. Um, and again, front flipping is one of my least favorite. Uh, I do the spidey flick, reverse flick thing, and the front flip equally at the bottom of my list of opening styles. But all in all, you have a very expensive Kubi knife here in my opinion. Um, here it is next to the Kubi again against the Sharpie and the Spider Godelica. And I know I'm going to get a bunch of crap for that. This is not an expensive Kubi. It's a Devo knife that's made by Kubi. It feels very similar in action to actual Kubis. I don't know. That's a whole different topic that I may get into with Alex over on the EDC hour one night and talk about what we think is, is this a brand or, 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 and it's not just Devo knives. There's a lot of like every YouTuber now is out there making their own knives, quote unquote, making their own knives. They're really just designing a knife and having somebody else make it. And sure, they're looking at the prototype and saying, change this and change that and, and things like that. I get it. They have a little bit of effort. But I don't know if it's a brand. Is it a brand or is it a designer just having knives made by somebody? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying it's one way or the other. I'm really posing a question because... It's, it dawned on me earlier this morning when I woke up. I'm like, is it a brand? It's certainly not a maker, whether it's Devo Knives or um, uh, just drawing a blank on everybody that's doing them. Bearded Gear, um, uh, Grant, um, Jason Grant. Like, There's a whole bunch of people. So I'm not singling out just Devo Knives right now, honestly. It just happens to be what's in obviously not a maker because they're not making anything. Is it a marketing design thing? Is it a brand? Like, I'm confused. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll do another topic video specifically about that because I've already rambled enough. I don't want to just ramble about that. So let me know down below your thoughts on that. Let me know your thoughts on Devo knives in general. If you have one, comment down below. Um, but yeah, there you go. They have these at Blade HQ and other retailers right now for about 330 bucks if you are interested. Ozzy Mike, thanks for loaning this in. I always appreciate your support and uh, we'll get these down to you down under as soon as we can. Thanks, guys.